Hello everyone, this is Mistress Nightmare here and I'll be reading the first sexual offender man love story. It's called Rose, the Shade of Love and Lust. It's written by Black Moon Raven. I'll leave a link to her profile where you guys can read her story on Quotive in the description box below. Anyway, let's get started. Chapter 1. Skylar, hurry up. You're going to be late for school. A shivering yelled vo voice yelled from downstairs. Groaning, I grabbed my blue backpack running downstairs. You go any slower, I swear. A tortoise will outrun you. Emily yelled, putting on her white sneakers, putting her long brown hair into a ponytail. I'm going to work now, Mom, she yelled and went out the door before my mom could answer. She always was the favorite one, but she was a total bloody attention hog slut. She craved it. It was like a drug of some kind. Stretching, I quickly went over to the fridge and picked out my lunch and heading towards the door. Skylar, I'm going to be working late tonight, so there's going to be $30 on the counter for you, Mom said as she watched her TV, not even looking at me. Okay, Mom, I said, putting on my black and blue shoes and heading out the door. I and my family had moved here a few months ago due to the cheap rent living inside of town has its perks I could go anywhere I need to do to but out here I have to walk four kilometers to get to school not mentioning that big creepy house up on the hill it was two-story house with a faded brown painting all the sides the windows were still intact but they had many cracks running along them it had a stone walkway, walkway which had cracks Creeks from aging, a black metal fence surrounding the whole area. I keep casting a glance at the creepy house and walk further, faster trying to get away from it. I'm sure that place could give even the police the spooks, I chuckled walking down the road and heading towards my best friend's house. I, was attract I was an attractive girl. I get many compliments on my look at school, my light green eyes matching with my long light brown hair. I was pretty tall for my age, but I really, but the really good looking body. I had the curves in all the right places. Walking, I came up to Nora's house, seeing her wave at me through her window. She was the first friend I ever made when I moved here. She swung the door open and rushed down the steps towards me. Her Black, long black hair loose some wave around her shoulders she stumbled on the last step almost face planting on the concrete she regained her balance and walked towards me you should have seen your face I snickered and she glared at me before laughing a bit too oh shut up anyway let's go Nora said as she bouncing down the road I in the pursuit stayed in with her pace Hey, did you hear another woman has another missing woman last night again? She said, no, not really. I respond back to her. While the police are baffled, there is no trace of them. But there's only ro some rose petals left in some alley. Nora tells me wh which is thought with a thoughtful look. What I had to admit, it's weird. I giggled as she almost tripped on a rock. Yeah, I know, but I can't be helped by thinking if this reminds me of some of the creepy creepypastas I read about earlier. She said, and I smiled, you mean like Jeff the Killer, Ben Drown, Laughing Jack, Slenderman, Eyeless Jack? I rolled the name, I rolled off the names as she looked at me. All of them I showed you, yes, there's many more. She rolled her eyes. I think his name is the Sexual Offender Man. You should check him out, Nora sure argued. Argued me as I as the school appeared. I think I'll do that when I get home, okay? I said, walking into the building, ready for another long and boring day.